So this uh, in the UK, we represent two brands. Um, we've got Computer Explorers, which is an active computing uh, fun and education through interactive learning. That is the key to it. It's highly interactive. We don't do e-learning platforms. And our newer brand is Active Explorers, which does the same methodology, but through sports and getting active. So here is a short video I'll share with you. So there's a very quick um, introduction to who we are and what we do. What's really interesting is Computer Explorers as a brand actually launched in 1984. It launched in the US and it launched in nursery schools, which is, um, yeah, a, a great, fantastic place to start. So we started with young children. And at that time, it was launched by a lady who owned a preschool and her son was autistic, although we didn't really understand autism at that time. And it was a way that he really understood learning and developed it. And the lady that started it then worked with a few others. And over a number of years, the brand flew across America. It grew very, very quickly. In 2006, it came to the UK. And at that time, the owner um, retired and her son was obviously autistic and didn't want to carry on with the brand. So it was picked up by the Barden Group. The Barden Group are a large UK franchising group. And really developed the brand into the UK and at that time looked at it and went well preschools are fantastic but we could also look at pre-primary infant schools junior schools etc and we developed the brand into the area which is which is our largest sector um across the yeah across each continent now so we work with children at three to 14 15 and it keeps growing so now we've even got some up to 25 classes doing um sort of children we call them neat children in the uk but children that have left school and don't really have a path yet so we work with them to help find what suits them and offering different areas within digital education so we have our core team here in the uk so we've got myself um some of the team don't like their photos so you've got little avatars i, I do apologize for that um alan who has been with the brand for since 2010 um, Alan is also a franchisee in south of the UK. And really, if if Alan doesn't know it, it's not worth knowing in the UK. He's absolutely brilliant and is always there to help and support. Siobhan is our PR and marketing consultant. Um, Siobhan is absolutely fantastic. She's worked with a number of large brands, the likes of Mercedes-Benz, represented them in the UK, Dunlop, um, some major tech brands. And in terms of marketing strategy, is fantastic. We've got Gemma in accounts and then Kevin who looks after IT and infrastructure and support on the ground level. So the two brands, Computer Explorers I mentioned earlier, it's a home-based franchise. That's really key to this brand because we keep our cost base really low. So you can operate it for home. We use venues that are either the schools, community settings, um, just areas where we can get the children together. Um, lots, um, one that's grown really quickly, really recently is the home education sector. 
Um, I don't know too much about it in India. It's something we can say, definitely research. But in the UK, that is a massively growing market. So home educated children. But the key here is the children have fun and they learn because they've had fun. And that is our absolute mantra. And that is the one thing that will never change. Here is our TV commercial that we were picked up by Sky um, last year. Uh, Sky is a huge uh, TV brand in the UK. And we did an interview with them. And here was the commercial off the back of it. Computer Explorers deliver the widest range of fun, educational and inspirational technology and computing classes to over 4,500 students across the UK each week. Classes are delivered in a range of locations, including nurseries, schools, holiday clubs, after school clubs, weekend clubs and other community venues. To find out more as to how you can make a real difference to a child's future combined with a business opportunity, visit computerexplorers.co.uk. Since that video, our, um, the growth has been amazing for us. So we went from 5,000 children a week to we're now up to 25,000 children a week in the UK. Um, and that's in 18 months. Yeah. So you can see the growth and the trajectory that um, this kind of brand is on and what we can do. Um, Active Explorers was our newer brand. Um, we were approached by the schools because they loved our methodology and they loved our approach and the level of detail we went into with the children, the support and documentation we gave to the schools. And they asked us to look at offering this within the sports sector. Now, in the UK, the sports sector is dominated. It is absolutely there are so many providers doing it. However, they lack the level of detail that we were offering. So we were approached by the schools and asked to do it. So we've launched this brand uh, earlier this year. So it's quite new to us. However, we're up to 10 franchisees already, all of which are spinning and moving at a very nice rate. And the feedback has been fantastic so far. So our highlights since I took over, um, we launched our brand new website, um, which still isn't finished. I think it ever will be. Um, it's on our challenge to keep promoting, keep improving. We've grown some fantastic partnerships. So we're Microsoft certified partners. We work very, very closely with Microsoft um, to help deliver courses and help develop them, develop their courses on their end. Uh, we work with the Department for Education in the UK, um, and we're working with them on the basis of trying to help improve the computing skills and curriculum that's offered to the children. We work with the British Franchising Association, European Franchise Federation, um, and we're in conversations with the GCHQ about delivering programmes uh, to children directly. Um, our main revenue streams, they, this is just six of them, but there are so many. Uh, community classes, corporate events, in-school time where we go in and take over the IT lessons, after-school clubs, Wraparound care, which is the before and after school into extended care time. Or in Dubai, we also do the lunchtime cover because they have a two hour lunch period there. Holiday camps, community events. There are just so many different options. But what's really important is that on the digital journey, 85 of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. And the best way I can liken that back to is if you think of, um, producing a website, wind back the clock five, 10 years. That was one person that would do that for you. Now it's a team of three, four, five, six people because you have the web design, you have the architect, you have the graphics team, you have the content creators. The roles just grow. So when I took over, um, I just want to tell you a little bit about our journey that when I took over, I set ourselves some objectives. As we were coming out of COVID, the franchise turnover was circa half a million pounds. Our website was old and tired. Um, and we had 14 franchisees, some of which were on their way out. The, you know, it was in that window, but the opportunity was absolutely there. So I set the opportunity. They wanted to increase the franchise turnover to 840,000. We wanted to launch a brand new website. And we want to have 16 fully operational franchisees within 12 months. We then moved to 24 months and we wanted to get to the franchise turnover, 1.35 million. Network growth to 25 franchisees and cleared any borrowing. I took a bit of borrowing to take over the brand at the time. And in the three years, 1.8 million and 30 franchisees. Now, what's amazing is in the first 12 okay. months, we achieved all three objectives. 
That's very interesting, uh, Stuart. Uh, and I think just I want to add is people don't realize this is a high margin business. So uh, those numbers make a lot of sense. If it was, let's say, a quick service business, the margin is just like 10%. But here, this is a very high margin business because your fixed costs are limited. Absolutely. Yeah. So we achieved all of those within um, nine months uh, of the first, first year. And at the time I wrote this, which was a couple of months ago, we were had 22 franchisees. We've now got 25 and our 24 months will obviously be up in October this year. We've achieved our franchise turnover and we've cleared all the borrowing we had. As a brand, we're in this lovely, nice place. But as us, why us? What do we do? So we have a really high success rate. Um, we have never had someone fail when they take on the brand. If they follow the model, they do what we do. We've never had anyone fail. We've had people leave, you know, that's that's their choice. Um, and that's mainly because they want to do something different or they've retired or um, one person's marriage broke up, but that's that's a different story. It rewards your efforts with your own flexibility. And it's really important when we think about franchising um, and what are your motivations. That's something that definitely we would have a conversation about later on. But this is what well, the key here is the more you put into it, absolutely, the more you're going to take out of it. Um, with in the UK, we've got 60% net profits. It is fantastic for you. Low cost startup, and we believe in a turnkey package. So we're here to really help you. Um, I'm here to mentor you. I'm here to offer the advice, um, myself and my team. And as soon as we need it, we will invest in new heads and new people to really support everyone along the way. What's really important to us is it's a partnership. It's not manager and employee. We're a partnership. We're here to help you succeed together. It's your business as well as ours. And that is the values we operate by. We're here to succeed together. We have networking with other franchisees. That is a really powerful support network. They are in there. They've been through this. They're doing exactly what you are doing right now and can offer so much advice if you ever need it. And franchising is huge. Um, in the UK, we have over a thousand different franchising um, brands um, and 44,000 franchise units across that sector. Testimonials we get are absolutely amazing. We have these coming through left, right and centre. Um, and that keeps Siobhan happy. And when we come around to our classes, so when we introduce our classes, this is just one, but I'll share this with you. Really quick introduction to one of the courses we do. We have over 300 in the UK or 300 courses available across the nursery and primary sector. Some are getting a little bit tired, but we go through and we replace those and we update them as we go. Um, we have our own shop for our own branded uniform. Um, this will develop into a shop that is available to customers. So the products we use in our classes will be available for them to purchase directly. Um, that's launching in the next three months in the UK. And one thing that I encourage people, and every time I speak to someone about franchising, I always encourage them to think about their franchise motivations, because that's really key to us, because we want to respect that and work with you to help develop that as we go forward. 